as this one gets underway. And right away, Ricky Morton goes right after Reno Riggins of the balls. Reno Riggins of the balls and Ricky Morton are going to start this four-way dance. Stephen Don Porter to the corner. Referee Gene Johnson will have his hands full in this one. It's Ricky Morton against Reno Riggins to start things off. And Ricky Morton right away knows the aggressive nature of the balls. And he steps in with his own attack. He mounts his own attack against this tag team. And Reno Riggins is victimized by that right hand of Ricky Morton. And now, going against the ropes, he's tripped up across the way by Stephen Dunn. Here comes uh, Robert Gibson and Ricky Morton being rolled up in the corner. Reno Riggins. What do we got here? Did we have a pin? I think Ricky Morton has been pinned. It's over with for Morton. And Ricky Gibson, or make that Robert Gibson. I'm, I'm just as, as bum-fuzzled by that turn of events because it looked like Ricky Morton had things going his way. Ricky is eliminated in the corner. And now if Richie Riviera comes in, Reno Riggins doing battle with Style and Jane Eaton, and here comes Richie Riviera. Riviera being reversed into the corner. Reno, Riggins, and Frenchie squaring up. I did not see Shane Eden make that tag. Now a tag apparently has been made. Now we've got all four. We've got five men in the ring. Reno, Riggins rolled up in the corner. Here comes Stephen Dunn with a chair. He just nailed Silent Shane with the chair. Silent Shane down. Reno, Riggins with a cover. The referee did not see that turn of events. And now it's over for Frenchie Riviera and Stylin' Shane Eden. Frenchie didn't see it either. Stylin' Shane is down. So now it's down between the Vols and the team of limited edition Nick Dinsmore and Rob Conway. Double team. And down it goes. I'll tell you, this four-way dance has certainly taken a strange turn of events. It has been a very quick match. Of course, I was expecting something to be a, quick, a, a bit more lengthy. But these four teams have been primed for this match for weeks. And the Vols obviously have been working on their techniques. They have done the damage. In fact, Reno Riggins and Stephen Dunn doing all the damage. First eliminating Ricky Morton and Robert Gibson of the Rock and Roll Express. And then eliminating the team of Frenchie Riviera and Style and Shane Eaton. And now it's Rob Conway and Nick Dinsmore being caught. Whoa! Double axe handle to the head. And Stephen Dunn going to work. Boy, this team of the balls, uh, uh, looking at Reno Riggins, he's limping around the ring. He may have twisted an ankle just then. Standing slam, Reno Riggins, very powerful. Low center of gravity, very much like the man whose night we are celebrating tonight. The life and time of Tojo Yamamoto. Tojo, so well known for that low center of gravity. Teaching so much to so many of the young wrestlers in the world today. And I'm sure if he were here tonight, he would be very proud of what he has seen. And I'm sure he is smiling down, watching the events tonight. Reno Riggins pounded into the corner. And Dick Densmore and Rob Conway may see their dreams come to a quick end at the hands of the volunteer, but we shall see. Remember, this is a wrestling match. Anything can happen anytime, just like the elimination of the two tag teams we saw earlier. The Rock and Roll Express, perhaps odds on favorites, coming in to take the MCW Tag Team Championship. They were eliminated first as Ricky Morton was rolled up in a small package in the corner. Then Style and Shane Eaton caught with a chair. Stephen Dunn nailed him while the referee's back was turned. And as a result, he was pinned by Reno Riggins. Young Rob Conway caught. And look at that, double teamed in the red. Reno Riggins going for the cover. Referee Gene Johnson looking at the count of one. And that's all he got because the young man got his foot across the lower strand of rope. I'll tell you, it is so difficult sometimes to keep up with all the action just in a singles match, not to mention a tag team match, not to mention a 20-man battle royal, and then a four-way dance. My goodness gracious, have we seen the action today. The Tojo Yamamoto Memorial Card has been all and has been advertised to be and then saw King Mabel earlier going out of the Battle Royal, going out of the 20-man Battle Royal, yet now I understand in a, a series of uh, conversations that now he has challenged the Colorado Kid to a match for the belt. Stephen Dunn choking his opponent in the corner. 
Rob Conway, Nick Dinsmore. Now, Stephen Dunn tags, Con or tags Dinsmore. Conway caught. Here's Riggins. Up and down he goes. Snap pair and across the shoulder. Comes young Rob Conway. And Reno Riggins now with a little insult to injury with just a sidekick under the throat. The Volunteers with things going their way. Reno Riggins slamming his opponent, and out he goes to the ring, onto the floor. At the feet of the fans at ringside, and here comes Stephen Dodd. This can only mean trouble. Dinsmore caught, Dinsmore slammed. Where is that Conway? I get him confused. These two guys look so much alike, it is almost from our vantage point impossible to tell as we are high above the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena, the Sports Arena Complex here. We are in the press box, if you would, for tonight's action, and it is difficult to tell the two apart. That's Conway, I believe, as Reno Riggins goes for the cover, but not enough. Scoop slam, Reno Riggins picks him up, walks around the ring with him, out of the corner. Power slam and down he goes. Rob Conway down. Reno Riggins ready to finish him. Goes for the cover. Nonchalant cover. One, two, and quickly. Conway kicks out at two. And Reno perplexed. But it's his own fault. It is his own fault if he'll carry through with those pinning combinations. Perhaps the Vols would already have the titles here. Things definitely going their way, though. To the ropes. Caught, and Reno Riggins bulldogs him down. Just cattle roped him, and down he goes. Conway caught, double team coming up. Here's Stephen Dunn, there's a Savat kick, super kick under the chin, and Dunn very pleased with what's going on. Here's the cover, count of one, and Rob Conway was saved by his partner, Nick Dinsmore, into kicking down and done away. Nick needs to make this tag. Boy, does he ever need to make this tag. And again, done. Fisticuffs, top of the head. And down in a heap goes his opponent. Conway caught now in the corner of the Tennessee Vols. Tag is made. Here comes the damager. The man that can really pour on the punishment in Reno Riggins. I'll tell you, they're both tough, tough customers, but Reno Riggins is as punishing an opponent as I've ever seen in the ring. He takes no quarter. He's built low to the ground. He's got that keen sense of ring, ring awareness. And look at this. Now Conway over to make the tag. Here comes Nick Dinsmore, and the referee didn't see the tag. The referee did not see the tag. And the balls turn their attention to wearing down and beating down an already battered Ron Conway. Rob Conway, check that. It has been a long night here at the Tojo Yamamoto Memorial Classic. These fans have certainly gotten their money's worth, and these fans are seeing the pinnacle of MCW right here. The four-way dance down to two teams, the Vols and limited edition. And the Vols could have had it right there and done decided for whatever reason to break the count. Don't they know those gold belts? Uh-oh. Dunn motioning a signal to Reno Riggins. Tag is made. Riggins in. Conway taken to the ropes. Double team. Oh, double DDT. Conway now in the ring being rolled out. Look at this. Nick Dinsmore just rolled Rob Conway out of the way. Nick Dinsmore just rolled Rob Conway out of the way. The balls don't realize it. Referee Gene Johnson doesn't realize it. Dunn moving in. This is actually Nick Dunsmore in the ring. Comes firing back. Small package. Dunn caught. One, two, three. He got him. He got him. The new champions in a real upset here in MCW. Limited edition Nick Dinsmore, Rob Conway are the new MCW Tag Team Champions. And the balls are upset.
ladies and gentlemen, we hope you've enjoyed all the action of the Tojo Yamamoto Memorial Card from the Fairgrounds Arena in Nashville, Tennessee. This has been an MCW production. I'm Michael St. John. So long, everyone.